Okay, what's going on, everybody? My name is Mang. Today, we're playing The Sinking City. This is the second of the two uh, recent big, big uh, mythos games, Cthulhu mythos games. The other one was uh, Call of Cthulhu, which I found to be a bit of a disappointment. Um, and that one was very blatantly connected to the Cthulhu mythos. It was called the Call of Cthulhu. This one is inspired by the Cthulhu mythos. I don't know how, what exactly that entails. I don't know how many direct, like, mythos entities or names or play, whatever we'll see. I don't know. Um, but that is a difference between the two games. Um, this game was created by Frogwares, who is most known for creating, like, all of the Sherlock Holmes games. Of which I really haven't played any. Um, I think we started playing that one that was sort of mythos-esque. I just don't remember which one that was. And we only did like one video on that. Uh, I don't remember. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. For the sake of argument, I haven't really played any Sherlock Holmes games. So I don't know how similar this is to those or anything like that, but they've been working on this for like three years or something. And it's somewhat open world. I don't know exactly. I'm very interested. I'm very interested to get this started. <clears throat> the other game, the Call of Cthulhu game, was developed by a lesser known studio, I think. That was developed by, oh no, well, yeah. I mean, Cyanide, they've done a lot of, like, uh, they've got, <laughs> they've done a lot of, like, pro cycling manager and, uh, bicycling games and stuff, and, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, it doesn't matter. We're playing the Sinking City. It's gonna be some mythos-style fun, and, uh, hopefully it's pretty good. We could click how to play. That's sort of interesting to have this on the main menu. Looks like we're going to be getting evidence and going around a map. And something lets you see the unseen. Retro cognition. That sounds like the Call of Cthulhu game. That's a similar concept. There's going to be padlocks. You get a gun? Oh, oh, oh. oh, you get a gun. Look at this thing. I don't know if I should be looking at this. There's going to be diving. See, this is all spoiler. Why did I click on that? Anyways, all right. Frosty, welcome. Dear Mr. Charles Reed, as you requested, I've researched the outbursts of hysteria and visions in the city of Oakmont, Massachusetts. It turns out that your assumptions were correct. Such cases are indeed more frequent here. Men and women from across the country are drawn to Oakmont, Haunted by visions similar to yours, a city drowning, the presence of something great yet unknown. As luck has it, I believe we have stumbled upon the source of your ailment, and the person who might help you with it. Prepare yourself, then come to Oakmont as soon as you can. I will meet you here to help you on your way. Cordially, Johannes Vanderberg.
why are there like smudges on the screen? This isn't, it's not, is it supposed to be like a camera lens? I don't think so. That looks pretty cool. So, uh, for the record, okay, well, a few things for the record. Uh, one, we're playing on PC. Uh, it's 1440p with ultra settings across the board, so this is as good as it can look. Uh, two, I bought the Necronomicon edition, which came with a few in-game bonuses. Um... I also got like a free copy of a Sherlock Holmes games that I that I haven't played. Uh, the main reason I got it though is because it lets you play it two days before it comes out officially. So the game doesn't technically come out for most people until the twenty seventh. Um, <clears throat> and right now on PC, it's exclusive to the Epic Game Store. And it's funny, on the Epic Game Store, they actually did not advertise the two-day early access at all. At all. I would have never even known. It's just some other sites were like... And I think the official site was like, oh, 48-hour early access. And so I just bought it on the Epic Game Store, the Necronomicon edition, and I just hoped that they were honoring that. And uh, they, they did, so that's good. All right. <clears throat> so here we are on the ship heading to Massachusetts. Um, we have a gun. Hope I never have to use it, but something tells me I will. Okay. Let me... Hold on. There should be some items. It's tab. There we go. We got a pistol. We got a submachine gun. I think normally you would not have a submachine gun, I'm guessing. I think that came with, uh the Necronomicon edition. Because when I think Necronomicon, I think, uh, give me a Tommy gun. There's this. Okay. Uh, med kit and a brick. Oh, no, I broke the brick. It broke just instantly? Damn. I hope I don't need that. Gunpowder, coil spring. Oh, there's going to be crafting. Letter from Jay Vanderberg. Oh, this is what I already read. Okay, good. New case, Frosty Welk. Uh, we got a camera. That's good. So here's our case book. Okay, we're going to be solving cases. Don't do that. Uh, let's see. It seems like it wants me to take a picture of that, but I don't know how. Beautiful. Never trust a tourist advertisement. Got 141 XP. Oh my god. Now get out. Jesus Christ. At last, Mr. Charles Reed. What a pleasure to finally meet you in the flesh. Nice to meet you, uh... Johannes Vanderberg, at your service. I did promise to meet you the moment you arrived. 
Ah, much obliged, Mr. Vandenberg. I guess I didn't expect you to mean so literally. Please call me your Hannes. But where are my manners? Welcome to the proud city of Oakmont. Alas, now is not its finest hour, though it is its most important. It's the deal with this city. Reaching Oakmont was no easy task. Most maps I've found didn't mark it, and this rickety packet ship is the only one that sailed here. Why is that? Oakmont is no ordinary place. Its unique geographical position and the flood, a recent natural disaster make it nigh impossible to reach. But you made it, Mr. V. I'm sure the tides of fate would have brought you here one way or another. Tell me about this flood. It began six months ago. Storms raged for several weeks, and the water has risen ever higher without receding. Now the city is cut off from the mainland. I must say I rather like it, despite the atmosphere, you know? You said you know someone who can help me with my... problem. The visions have been getting worse. Such vividness of dreams is not uncommon here in Oakmont. By chance, the man I spoke of, Robert Throgmorton, is already at the port. He has dedicated a lot of time and effort to investigate this issue. Alas, I fear he has a more pressing matter on his hands. How can I find Mr. Throgmorton? Don't worry, you can't miss him. Throgmorton tends to... <laughs> stand out from the crowd. Okay. Can you tell me a little about Mr. Throgmorton? A remarkable creature. Scion of a robust bloodline. A philanthropist, a scholar, and the patron of the famous Oakmont University. A man of great ambitions and even greater ego. Do not make him wait. Who says Scion of a robust bloodline? Other than, like, a Lovecraft character. I'll need a place to lay my head while I'm here. Any recommendations? Fair enough. I've already feathered a nest for you. There's a room in your name at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Here's the key. Sounds charming. Don't judge a book by its cover, Mr. Devil's Reef. Well, that's... I mean, that's certainly a mythos location. That's the best way to get around Oakmont. I'd like to drop my things at the hotel. Most locals go by foot. Or by boat. I've got the latter sorted for you. There's one waiting outside the port. <sighs> You're too kind, Johannes. Can you steer me towards the Devil's Reef? Take this map. I've marked the hotel and a few other key places. Places. Like what? You're a private eye, yes? Well, I've highlighted the police station, city archive, newspaper. Places you'll need to get to the truth. This city is insular, its ways mysterious. No one will take you by the hand, so you better know where to turn in search of a lead. How do you fill your days, Mr. Vanderberg? I host a philosophy club for the like-minded intelligentsia. Gathering seeds of thought like moths drawn to a flame. Does Oakmont really have much of a market for philosophy these days? There is no consciousness without pain, Mr. Reed. No better moment for clarity than times of hardship. Well, okay. That's it for now, I think. Uh, thanks for helping me get my bearings. No, no. The pleasure was mine, Mr. Reed. Oh, before you go, how can I get in touch with you later? Don't worry about that. I'm the kind of man who finds you. Yeah, I would say it's like a 95% chance this guy is a cultist. Okay. Um, well, here's... Oof. 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 Uh, here's the map of Oakmon. Looks pretty damn big. Uh. <laughs> Alright, there's the city port. Looks like they have... Canals? 
in a lot of places instead of roads. Um, yeah, like this, this boat here is on a canal that goes through most of the city. Okay, the Devil's Reef Hotel. I don't know why you would call your hotel the Devil's Reef, but they did. Police Department, newspaper, hospital, the asylum. I'm sure we'll spend some fun time there. Library, city hall, plenty of other undiscovered, wonderful places. All right. I didn't know this was a third person game. You know, again, I really don't look into games before I buy them. Um, so I'm playing with mouse and keyboard, but I might switch to a controller next time. I usually prefer controller for third person. I don't care about your petty excuses. Oh my no god. No one leaves a port until my son is found, and that is final. Uh, Planet of the Apes. Uh, excuse me. Are you Robert Throgmorton? I am, but not interested. Go away. The name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator, just arrived from Boston. I was told you might be able to help me. Private investigator, you say? Well, perhaps we can help each other. No full human being looks like that. You're yeah. Forgive the question, but I've never met a man quite like you before. That's because no man measures up to the Throgmorton lineage. Proud and powerful blood flows through our veins. My father united with a certain royal family, which has blessed all our offspring with these exquisite features. I mean, he's definitely this game's version of a, a deep one. So, keep that in mind. If I may ask, what happened to your son? Why do you care? What's your angle, outsider? Well, like I said, I'm a PI. Finding people is kind of my specialty. Is it? Well, Albert was part of a deep-sea expedition I commissioned. This useless fool over here says he found Albert washed ashore in a lifeboat. Says he was barely conscious, out of his mind, talking gibberish in some other language. That he even tried to bite him. And you don't believe him? Complete malarkey. I know my Albert. I raised him strong and smart, the best of his kind. It couldn't have been him. Albert's disappearance is the work of Innsmouthers. Mark my words. Okay, well, <laughs> there you go. Um, so... I take it you're not the biggest fan of these Innsmouthers. Those fish-faced freaks have overrun this city since the police burned Innsmouth to the ground. But now, those filthy migrants occupy half this damned city. A port. Grimhaven Bay, Salvation Harbor, the shells, they are everywhere. So they're just refugees? <laughs> Hardly. They've taken work from the local fishermen. They stir and agitate against us, the Throgmorton family. We are the pillar of this community, not to mention that crime rates have skyrocketed. Simply speaking, they are a big stinking pile of trouble. I mean, it's it's Innsmouth. I, I don't know about this Innsmouth. That's, I mean, it's just wrong. But I guess we have our answer. This is pretty clearly tied to the Cthulhu Mythos. Um, if you recall Shadow over Innsmouth, uh, there is like that police or FBI raid where they blow up the Devil's Reef um, and crack down on the esoteric order of Dagon and stuff. It's interesting, I guess, then as part of the plot that refugees from that town, you know, these the Deep One hybrids have all moved on over here to another coastal Massachusetts town known for weird stuff. So, not only do we have to deal with the uh, Planet of the Apes guy here, we also get traditional deep ones. I've heard you're the man to speak to about visions, outbreaks of hysteria. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it myself. 
Another newcomer with another problem. <laughs> yes, I know what you speak of. Can I ask you a few questions? How dare you? My son Albert is missing, and no one in this Innsmouth, a ridden city, will do a damn thing. But yes, let's talk about your dreams. Mr. Throgmorton, let me help you. I'm rather good at tracking down missing people. I'll find Albert. What makes you think you can do it? Oakmont is not exactly friendly to new arrivals. Let's just say, I tend to see things that others miss. And anyway, what have you got to lose? Sounds like you could use every man you can get. Vera, you have a point, newcomer. Sorry, did you just say, Vera? What does that mean? You had better get used to the Oakmont dialect, outsider. That is, if you want to fit in. It is a fascinating blend. Vera means fine. I was saying, we have a deal. I see. Thank you. <laughs> a blend of what? I need to know more about what happened to Albert. Dane, did you not listen at all? I already told you everything. After leaving on the expedition, Albert was found on the shore in a lifeboat. This fisherman supposedly brought him to the house and then left to call me. But when I arrived here, my son was nowhere to be seen. Anything else? Clearly, something suspicious occurred inside the house. I suggest you stop dawdling and go see for yourself. Okay. The house where this all happened. For Kay's sake, I thought you were a private eye. We're standing right in front of it. You mentioned a lifeboat. Is it still around? Yes. Face the house, then to the left is a beach that borders a fence. You'll find it there. As much as I'm enjoying the weather, Mr. Throgmorton, it's time for me to get started. Find my son, newcomer, and be quick about it. All right. So this is the house. This must be the fisherman. I've said everything I know. This is a Don't cop. do anything stupid, newcomer. And keep your hands where I can see them. All right. I believe you. But my Tommy gun don't. Oh. Okay. <laughs> there are there are rules. I can't just pull out the Tommy gun. All right. Well, I want to see this lifeboat first. Um, it did say face the house and go left, right? Where's your Oberon, huh, Titania? That's a reference. Albert Throgmorton's will. I hope someone finds this. My name is Albert Throgmorton and this is my will. I want to warn you, don't go to the depths below Oakmont. There's... Blah, blah, blah. We should have never done that. Everything should have remained in that cave. Professor... Blah, 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 blah. I fear what will become of me. It's singing in my brain, dancing on my eyelids every time I close my eyes. Blah, blah, blah. The cycle goes on and on and on and on and on and on. Blah, blah, blah. In the end, it comes. I must warn everyone. I must tell my father... Blah, blah, blah. He's here. Okay, so this is a guy that's being racked by something. Visions. Um, visions of something underneath Oakmont. And this is a guy that wanted to talk to his father. So I don't think he ran away from this house. Something is fishy. Something with this helmet gives me chills. What's wrong with it? I don't know. I got 141 XP. You can't catch a mackerel since those Innsmouthers took over the fishing business. You like it here, newcomer? Well, get used to it. No one leaves Oakmont nowadays. That sounds 
Pretty ominous. All right. Let's go poke around this house then. Look at us doing some investigating. Oh my god. Why do you have this shit laying around your house, bro? The book is damp and damaged, but... Clearly well cared for. Why is that the notable? Is damp and damaged, but clearly well cared for. My God, I'm stealing his stuff. Huh. This dog mat looks better than the owner's bed. Nice. Let's see what you find, newcomer. There was a fierce fight here, but someone tried to flee. Hmm. Hello? Hey, can you hear me? Uh, oh, my head. What? Who are you? Are you police? I've already told them everything. It's okay. I'm Charles Ray, private eye. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son. Oh, oh, okay. What do you want? Tell me about yourself. Uh, name's Will. Will Hammond. I'm a fisherman. We all are. Live here together. Me, poor fella Paul, Barry, and Innsmouth of Lewis Flynn. We moved here after the flood. I worked on the railroad, but the rail ain't kicking anymore, so... I started fishing. Either that or starve. I want to know what happened here. Every detail. I don't remember much. Me, Paul, and Lewis. We were here. This is our house. Barry was outside on his business. Then he came back carrying Thogmorton's son. He was unconscious, barely breathing. Barry left again to call Mr. Robert. Then what? We put the guy in Lewis's room. Then he started to make these horrible sounds, and... Okay. My head began to burst, and he woke up. And... After that, I don't remember a thing, just... Dreams. Drowned streets, a sleeping giant, a voice that called me... Ah. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Who's this Kay? Kay you keep mentioning? Outside of show some respect. K is our Lord, our light, our love. Sorry. Whoa. I didn't know. That came out of nowhere. <laughs> There's what? There's no elaboration on that? What the fuck? Where are all the other guys? Uh, that's Paul there on the floor. K be with him. Barry's outside with Mr. Throgmorton. Lucky rascal missed everything. And I have no idea what Lewis or Throgmorton's son got to. Starting to suspect the worst. Do you know how Paul died? I don't know. When I pulled myself together, he was already gone. Okay, have mercy on his soul. I'll leave you to it. Take care of yourself, Will. Please, detective, sir, tell me the truth. Could it be me? Did I kill Paul? Or, okay, did I kill him? I don't know yet, Will. The police will stop anyone coming in or out of here, so I suggest you just try and get some rest. I'm afraid of what I might dream. Now, they'll stop anyone. Except for me, of course. I can go wherever I like. Choo-choo. Ahem. <laughs> okay. He stole something. I 
recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. Whoa, whoa, I'm tripping. Tripping balls. Oh, boy. Five cards short of a full house. I'm surprised they don't have someone's portrait here. Seems like prohibition hasn't affected Oakmont too much. Never seen knives like this before. Masterful work. That's a cult knife right there. So that's what an in's mouther looks like. That's that's the, the deep one. something oh my god I'm onto something here we go take this ape face <laughs> okay there's multiple individuals involved in a violent conflict yeah run someone ran there's a gun involved This was the first uh -huh. step. What's happening? And then some of you's getting beaten on. Take this, ape face. <laughs> All. Yeah, run! When Albert Throgmorton woke up, he was not himself. He attacked the fishermen, and his hysteria spread to them. When he got wounded, he fled. Okay. What the what the fuck was that? That was really creepy. There was a fierce fight here, but someone tried to flee. Ugh. Okay. Mr. Throgmort, I found this in the lifeboat. Looks like it's your son's will. Give it to me. Oh my boy, what did you get yourself into? If only I hadn't sent you on that cursed expedition. Bye. I've said everything Don't I Don't do anything stupid, newcomer. And keep your hands right. Okay. Um, I don't think there's... Why do they keep telling me about the mine palace? Okay, let's, let's take a look. Mine palace. Combine clues to make deductions. Okay. Um. Well, this is connected to this. Albert Throgmorton was dangerous and posed a threat to Lewis Flynn and his fellow... I mean... Yeah. Uh... Okay, this... As an Innsma... Mouther? Innsmuther? I don't know. I've never... Innsmouther, I guess. Lewis and his people suffered at the hands of the Throgmorns. That could be a reason to hate them. Okay. Uh, 
Albert Throgmorton spread some sort of psychic influence which made everyone nearby suffer hysteria. I can track down Albert. Albert and the fisherman named Lewis fled the scene after the fight in the house. I can track them using my supernatural sense. What? Where did that come from? <laughs> Why do I have a supernatural sense? I mean, they would have. I gave you clear. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did I not? Okay, hold on. There was a fierce fight here, but someone tried to flee. There we go. Yeah. I'm with you. Oh, here we go. That's what it takes to be a good private eye. You, you have to have supernatural senses. What the f Shotgun so show? Fisherman pursued Albert. Even let off a few shots. Oh, hold on, we gotta loot stuff. Gotta get that metal scrap. was wounded he managed to climb that high robert wasn't exaggerating when he said he raised him strong okay Lewis, please, just give me one more week. I know I owe you, but I'm underwater like everyone else right now. I don't yet have enough stock to operate the bar smoothly with the fuzz snooping about the port. But don't worry, I've struck a nice deal with the proper people and should have a steady supply channel soon. Just one more week and I'll return everything with double interest. And the blood is fresh. Whomever it belongs to could not have got far. Let me just... Poke around real quick. We might want to get some more uh, metal scraps. Or some gunpowder. The door won't budge. Oh, really? <laughs> wow, that was not a loud sound. And there's a dead body. One fatal round through the forehead. That's no accident. This was deliberate. Okay. Not gonna say anything about that thing. One fatal round through the forehead. That's no accident. This was deliberate. Ugh! 
dissolve. This one didn't dissolve. Okay, let's see here. Fled when wounded. Uh, Lewis pursued him. Lewis may have wanted to kill Albert outright because he was the Throgmorton rather than to just drive him off. Right, makes sense. Um, Albert was murdered and Lewis left the crime scene. No, none of these. There we go. Lewis may be at the bar. Because he knows the bar owner. That seems like a... Bit of a deductive leap, I suppose. But it is a lead. We're not going to talk at all about this weird alien creature I shot and killed and then dissolved. No passing sarcastic comment or... Nothing. That seems a little strange. Okay, let's pop open the map then. Uh, the bar... is... Who knows where the bar is? As good a question as any. is this what is that oh I found the bar sort of okay this building is the bar bullet fella I ain't eaten in days spare bullet huh I got a spare bullet for it oh my god could I what the fuck <laughs> okay hold on hey when I asked for a bullet I didn't mean getting shot I mean what do you what the hell do you mean <laughs> I mean I had a spare bullet for you I don't know what else you want not gonna give you food. Why wouldn't you say God spare food? You look familiar, but old Billy hasn't seen you around. Okay. Stay alert. Monsters lurk underground. They're everywhere. Yeah, whenever I walk into a bar, there's always some drunk guy that says that. Ugh, I'll miss the carpenter's food giveaway with this darn port closure. Welcome to Under the Keel. What do you want? Oh yeah, here I've we go. I've seen some unsettling creatures around, like nothing I've ever encountered. What are they? <laughs> so you met a wild beast, newcomer. No one knows what they are, but consider yourself lucky to still be in one piece. They arrived in the flood. Some say they come from the sea. Others that they are Kay's punishment for us. And what do you say? If it bleeds, you can kill it. Keep your gun handy. And if you want to erase the memory, I sell a perfect cure right here. Remember, better to be a coward and live than brave and dead. Unless you're a newcomer. 
Dude, what the fuck, man? I'm looking for a man by the name of Lewis Flynn. Any chance he's here? Yeah. Even if I knew, I don't rat to newcomers. You're harboring a criminal. Morton hired me to investigate his son's disappearance. I found the note about your debt to Lewis near his cold, dead body. It looks like Lewis murdered Robert's kid. You want him to come here and ask instead of me? What? Don't what me. At best, you're harboring a criminal. At worst, you're an accessory to murder. I... What? No. I ain't done nothing. Tell that to Mr. Throckmorton. No. No. Throck. Lewis is upstairs. Here's the key. Smart man. There's your good deed for the day. Bye. Alrighty. See? Some private eye shit right there. What the? Get the? Oh. What the? Get the? Oh. What the? Get the? Oh. Guess I found my new text message sound. What the? Get the? Oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, God. Hey, who are you? What are you doing? Oh, my Charles God. Reed, private investigator. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son, Albert, so I think you know why I'm here. Throck. That darn bartender. It was all that crazy ape's fault. You hear me? Calm down. I only want to speak for now. But no, if you reach for your gun, you'll hit the floor faster than you can say poetic justice. I got nothing to hide. <laughs> you shot to kill. No warning, no second chances. You pursued Albert even after he fled. Why? I... Well, I can't remember it. When he woke, it was like a, a bloody mist descended over me. First thing I recall, after... Is that darn warehouse and me uh, covered in blood? I had no idea what happened, though. I suspected it had something to do with that ape. Turns out I was right. Start at the beginning. What happened? We. We, we were in our house, me, Paul, and Will. Mary gone to the sea. Though I told him that it would only bring bad luck. If he'd listen to me, we'd all still be alive. Come on, Lewis. Focus. Right. Well, Barry dragged that damn ape to our house. He was bragging about how much Mr. Throg Morton would give us for saving his son. But that ape, he was out cold. Then woke in an instant and started screaming, attacking us. After that, can't remember a thing. Here's the real important question. What kind of... Uh, why do you, you... Your face, it's, uh... Oh, so you're here to attack me just because I look different to you? Want to spit on me, whisper to your friends? What's new? Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. I, I I didn't know how to ask. I've just never met someone like you before. I didn't mean any offense. Innsmouther's bodies were blessed by the she. You're gonna see a lot of us here, so you better get over it. We are proud of who we are. The things you did to Albert don't look like a bloody rage. A fatal shot to the head, a hidden body. One might start to wonder if it was deliberate. Well, I don't know what to say. I wasn't myself. Yeah, that'll hold up. I hear there's a bit of a feud between the Innsmouthers and the Throgmortons. Care to fill me in? Those apes hated us from the moment we arrived in Oakmont. Our home was destroyed. We just needed a place to stay. The Blackwood Grand family sheltered us, but others were not as hospitable. We needed jobs, food, and medicine. The city denied it all. And so? We had to fight for every crumb of bread. And those Throgmortons in their high castle only made our life harder, always conspiring behind our backs. Always setting people against us. I'd love to see them suffer like we suffered. You mentioned a grand family. What do you mean? Hmm. So you're a newcomer, huh? Explains a lot. Yeah. 
A newcomer with a gun. Answer the question. Okay. People here are crazy about bloodlines and tradition, reputation. The head hunters of Oakmont are called the Grand Families. There's the carpenters who control most of the city's underworld, the Blackwoods who share kin with Innsmouthers through the Marsh family. And let me guess, the Throgmortons. Right, those filthy apes. Now that most of the Blackwoods are gone, there's nobody left to protect us Innsmouthers. I think I've got all I need. Please, Mr. Reeve, don't tell Throgmorton about me. I know I'm in no position to ask. I didn't want to do whatever it is I did. Honest, have mercy, please. I have a family. Without me, they'll starve. This is not exactly cut and dry. I need some time to think. Perhaps I can offer something to grease your grinds. I still have a few bullets on me. It turns out I arrived here unprepared for business. You give me a little something to get started, and my lips are sealed. I knew you'd understand. Here you are, Mr. Reed. Now, my thought is to get the bullets from him and then tell the guy anyway, but I don't know if I'm going to have that option. Some games let you do that. Some games, it's like, nope, you gave your word. That's it. Um... Okay, so this guy, who seems like a cool, stable dude, <laughs> says that he was affected by this hysteria, and he chased after this guy, uh, put a bullet in his head, put him up on fish hooks, and then he went back to normal. So I either have to make the deduction that... He was not in control of his actions, or that he was. That's tricky, to be honest. He certainly has motive. Um, and that would be just a neat little cover story. That, oh, I, I didn't know what I was doing. I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but on the other hand, there were others that blacked out and had some hysteria and can't remember things. So there is some precedence here with his compatriots. Uh, I'll go with he was affected. Lewis killed Albert Throgmorton while under some sort of mental influence. He couldn't control his actions and thus can't be blamed for Albert's death. I could try and cover for him or else Robert Throgmorton will have his head. I mean, I don't care if he gets hanged for it. Um, I just, that was my deduction that he was not in control of his actions. But, I mean, it's, it's not like you get off scot-free when you, just because you have that defense. What the? Get the, oh. Right. Um, okay. You want a drink? No. Come. Come closer, troubled soul. Let me tell you what your future holds. You're some kind of, uh, fortune teller? Yes, my dear. Yes. Oh, it's so clear. Your path holds many surprises, newcomer. Tell. Really? Like what? Not so fast, newcomer. I see many things. For a small fee, I'll tell you some of them. All right, how much? A dollar? <laughs> Your money has no value here, newcomer. After the flood, Oakmonters deal in the practical. Booze, smokes, and bullets. And I'll make it easier for you. I don't smoke. Oh, it's like Metro. Let's hear what my future holds. Good. Let me focus. The sea will be generous in the coming days. Many gifts delivered. And many will regret partaking. I don't think I follow. I see old and new. 
a hard heart against an iron will. Whoever wins, you win too. But you'll only see that from inside a metal cage. And, and tall pillars circled by the dead. A race from one to the next as time itself laughs. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. You are welcome. I can't wait to see what you do. Yeah, I don't know if that was worth a bullet. But... We paid it. And I'm gonna steal this guy's gunpowder and shell casings and we can make more bullets. Alrighty! Interesting stuff going on in the sinking city. Um, yeah, very interesting stuff. Certainly has uh, higher production qualities than the Call of Cthulhu game. So that alone is pretty nice. And I'm very excited to start exploring this crazy, crazy city. Yeah, my name is Mang. Gaming Watch has been The Sinking City. I'll see you fine folks in the next part.